Researchers have discovered more evidence of the power of the earthquake that hit off the coast of northeastern Japan on March 11th. They found a new 80-meter long fissure in the seabed at the focus of the massive tremor. The Japan Agency for Marine Earth Science and Technology released video and photos on Monday of the seabed off the Sandiku coast. Jamstax manned submarine, the Shinkai 6500, gathered the footage between July 30th and August 14th. Some of it was shot about 5,350 meters below the surface of the Pacific Ocean. It shows a fissure about one meter wide and one meter deep, extending for 80 meters north to south. A number of other new fissures and uneven sections have also been found in the seabed. They include a 20 centimeter wide fissure running for dozens of meters, located at a depth of 3,200 meters. We will analyze the information to learn about the various phenomena triggered by the earthquake. Then our findings will be publicized. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant says the density of radioactive cesium in seawater near the water intakes of the number two and three reactors was down on Saturday to about one-tenth of the levels detected on the previous day. Tokyo Electric Power Company monitors the concentration of radioactive substances in seawater near the water intakes of the plant and offshore. Seawater collected near the water intake of the number two reactor on Saturday was found to contain 0.058 becquerels of cesium-134, nearly twice the government's set safety limit. It also contained 0.056 becquerels of cesium-137, an amount that exceeds the limit. Seawater sampled near the water intake of the number three reactor on Saturday was found to contain 0.087 becquerels of cesium-134, about 1.5 times the safety limit. 0.09 becquerels of cesium-137 was also measured. Seawater taken from six spots offshore was found to be free from radioactive materials. There are many words connected to and which mean telling lies such as betray, cheat, con, deceive, delude, dishonest, dupe, falsehood, feign, fib, hoodwink, misinform, mislead, pretend, swindle, trick, and untruth. The Japanese government has endorsed a plan to set up a new nuclear watchdog under the Environment Ministry. The government wants to ensure that it doesn't have any ties with the power industry. The plan approved by the cabinet on Monday removes nuclear regulatory powers from the industry ministry, which also promotes nuclear energy. The action is part of the government's efforts to improve oversight in the wake of the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. The new agency will be responsible for advisory functions of the Cabinet Office's Nuclear Safety Commission and radiation monitoring undertaken by the Science Ministry. It will also oversee safety management at nuclear plants, a check if regular inspections are being carried out appropriately, and take charge of the initial response in the event of an accident. The current nuclear regulator under the Industry Ministry has been criticized for trying to influence public symposiums in favor of nuclear energy. The government plans to submit bills to the diet early next year and launch the new agency in April. Japanese businesses are developing devices to gauge levels of 
radioactive substances in food in response to the needs of municipalities and food makers. The move comes after cesium-tainted beef was found to have been distributed throughout the country. Medical equipment maker Shitachi Aloka Medical has developed a device with a lead container which almost completely blocks radioactivity. The device can measure amounts of radioactive elements in samples in about 10 minutes. The firm has already received around 200 orders for the equipment. There is an increasing demand for monitoring of radioactive levels. We want to develop products that meet the needs of society. Another company, Fuji Electric, has developed a machine that can measure radioactive substances in products packed in containers such as cardboard boxes. The machine quickly displays whether or not products contain radioactive elements that exceed preset levels. Demand for these devices is expected to rise as an increasing number of municipalities and food makers are gearing up to test products for radioactive materials.